Governor Pritzker signed Illinois' fiscal year 2023 budget into law today. Republicans say the $46.5 billion budget is filled with election year proposals. But the governor says the budget puts working families first. WGN's Julian Cruz joining us now with more on that. Julian. Well, Mike and Ray, Illinois' governor says he is focused on inflation with tax relief for working families and individuals as people across the state struggle with rising costs. We're putting a billion dollars into the state's rainy day fund. So Governor J.B. So Pritzker and fellow Democrats say it's a major achievement, Illinois' fourth balanced budget in a row. We've got not one, but two credit rating upgrades for the first time in a generation. And we put an extra $500 million into our pensions, saving taxpayers nearly $2 billion in future interest payments. Remaining federal funds from the American Recovery Act, according to the $46 billion fiscal year 2023 budget, helping the state wind up with a $444 million surplus. <laughs> but beneath the optimism at today's signing ceremony on the campus of Chicago State University, there's growing concern about inflation and the real possibility of a recession. Illinois' tax and fee relief designed to save taxpayers $520 million with the doubling of the property tax rebate maximum for working families and others. There's $400 million to help pay for a one-year holiday from the state's 1% grocery tax, $70 million in taxpayer savings anticipated by the freezing of Illinois fuel taxes for six more months, and $100 million finances expanded earned income tax credits for those who are eligible. The budget also providing license fee waivers for frontline health care workers and liquor license fees paid by restaurants and bars. Putting people first is what this budget is all about. But Republicans say it's about election year politics. In a written statement, Illinois GOP Chairman Don Tracy saying, quote, what Pritzker's budget doesn't do is give permanent tax relief to overtax Illinoisans, fully replenish the unemployment trust fund, or construct a path to budget stability for when the federal bailout cash runs out soon. But Pritzker says he's still trying to undo the damage left by his GOP predecessor. Violence interruption programs were destroyed. DCFS shut down 500 residential beds for our state's most vulnerable children. The developmentally disabled were forgotten. Pritzker and the Democrats also appropriating close to $1.4 billion for public safety to hire hundreds of state troopers, violence prevention programs, and more freeway cameras and automatic license plate readers. Mike and Ray, an awful lot packed into this budget. Sounds like it, Julian. Thanks.